Amen. What a blessing it is to know that when he was on the cross, yeah. Brother E.Y., I was on his mind. Yeah. Amen. Uh, it's good to have our church here tonight, Old Grove Baptist Church, Corbin, Kentucky. Uh, we're right off of 5th Street. Uh, if you go through under the interstate on 5th Street, we're the first ride up on the hill in Corbin. And uh, we'd be happy to have you. Most certainly would. I want to appreciate our choir being here tonight. I want to appreciate Sister Nancy for singing that beautiful song. Yeah. And I want to announce a couple of things that uh, we're having Sunday morning. Firehaven Quartet will be at Oak Grove Baptist Church at 11 o'clock. And we do not cancel service on Sunday morning. So if anyone uh, comes uh, uh, to church or goes to church or has a cancellation, you're most certainly welcome to come to Oak Grove and be part of our services. You're always welcome there. And not only the pastor, but the people will make you welcome. And you'll be glad that you came and you'll be glad that you took time to, uh, to be there. And I know you'll feel the spirit, and I believe you have felt the spirit uh, here tonight and uh, out in our viewing land. I believe that you have already felt the presence of God. I want to send out a program to two uh, very special people in our church that are sick. A uh, pastor, one of our senior pastors, Brother Louis Hart, uh, is sick and has uh, been to Lexington and back. And we want to pray for Brother Louis and also our brother Fred Seeley. Uh, he's uh, having some tests uh, ran. And uh, Brother Fred needs your uh, uh, prayers as well. I want to send uh, the program out tonight, uh, Brother Jim Stewart, to uh, some of your neighbors, especially uh, Sister Elsie Hammonds that uh, gave up her husband. He went on to be at the Lord after 56 years in the ministry. And we were in her, his services Sunday. And we want to send the program out to her and also to the Willie Hudson family and to Viola Brown's family that we've already mentioned. Some very dear people, people we know them, uh, people we love and appreciate. And I just thank the Lord for them. And I appreciate Brother Neil White taking her uh, call-ins. And I know that uh, he will be glad to hear you call. And please call him. And Brother A.Y. will come back a little later on and share with you what folks have on their heart and on their mind tonight. You know, God still answers prayers, Brother A.Y. He most certainly does. He always has. He always will. And, uh, you know, uh, I remember saying one time that uh, not only uh, uh, can God answer prayers, but God will answer prayers. Amen. Uh, God will answer prayers. And I appreciate that. And I know that uh, he'll answer yours if you'll just call in. I want to do the scripture tonight. And this is exactly what God has inspired on her heart. Out of St. John chapter 1. And I want to begin reading with verse 15. And uh, if you're tuning in, uh, turn with us. If you're here in the TV station tonight, uh, you can turn as well. And uh, verse 15 of 1 John, uh, John uh, starts out by saying, John or John the Baptist, bear witness of him, meaning Christ, and cried, saying, This is he of whom I spake or spake of. He that cometh after me is preferred before me. And Brother A.Y., he still is. He's still preferred before any of us. And I, I just praise God for that. Uh, for he was uh, before me. Uh, you know, this is the one John's speaking about, uh, that God uh, the Father said, Let us make man in our image and in our likeness. And in the likeness of uh, God uh, made he man. Man, and he breathed in his nostrils, uh, and he became a living soul after the likeness and similitude of God. Uh, but notice what John goes on to say. And he said, uh, and of his fullness, uh, you know, Brother Jim, we have uh, no fullness. It's of his fullness uh, that we are and we exist. Uh, and of his fullness have all we received. You see, everything that you have, have is given of God. Uh, we have nothing. Uh, I said Sunday morning, Brother A.Y., in the message I preached, uh, in the message uh, I quoted a verse that
that said uh, that, uh, you know, at times even the wicked does prosper. And I made a statement that uh, even if I were, although I am not, uh, but if I were a lost man, I'd still give glory to God. Amen. Because we eat off of God's table. Uh, we drive God's car. Uh, we sleep in God's bed. And we uh, uh, have everything that we have uh, because of him. Amen. Uh, listen to what he goes on to say. Uh, he said, and of his fullness uh, have all we received 